If you miss a line in the game, you reset. If you miss it on the track, you could die. What is this? It's a contest. The best Gran Turismo players in the world get a chance to compete in professional racing. Dude, this is real. This is real. I'm sorry. Hey. Hello, guys. Welcome to Techno Podcast. So, today we're going to be talking about the Gran Turismo movie and the technology that Polyphony Digital uses to create the cars for the video game. This channel is not a movie reviewing one, but if you want, we can do that. Now, for me, Gran Turismo was the first car simulator with 3D animation that I played in my whole life. And I just played, obviously, in my old PS1. And I waste a lot, a lot of time racing every single car, winning the licenses. I love it. Actually, I love it. The soundtrack, the soundtrack, the soundtrack of that video game was fantastic. I love that video game. I do remember the game as well and the song from the Cranberries. Hmm? We can't play it here, but copyright. You know, you you know. know which one it is. Um, I do remember playing it, but just for a little bit. But, I mean, as you know, Gran Turismo is one of the most popular racing video games of all time, like Cesar just told us. Um, so the games are known for their hyper-realistic graphics. And all of that was made possible thanks to Polyphony Digital's scanning technology. Now, let's get started. Digital uses a variety of different scanning techniques to capture the details of real world cars. For example, they use laser scanners, which work by emitting a laser beam and measuring the time it takes for the beam to reflect back from the car's surface. This allows Polyphony Digital to create a highly accurate 3D model of the car's exterior. Um, the laser scanner used by Polyphony Digital is a Farofocus 3DX. It is a high precision laser scanner that can capture up to 1.5 million points per second. Uh, the, laser, the laser scanner is mounted on a robotic arm that can move around the car to capture all of its angles, which we, can, we could see that in the movie actually. Um, the laser scanner data is then used to create a 3D model of the car in a software program called Geomagic Studio. The next technology that they use is photogrammetry. Photogrammetry works to, by taking a series of photographs of the car from different angles. The software then uses these photographs that create a 3D model of the car exterior. And this, this technique divides in two phases. One is the pol polyphony digital use a technique called a structure from motion SSM to create a photogrammetry model. SSM software use the overlapping images, images to create a point cloud of the car surface. And the second point is the point cloud is the use to create a 3D model of the car in a software program called Mesh Lab. Then, another technology that they use is LiDAR, which means light detection and ran ranging. It is a more advanced scanning technique that uses laser pulses to create a 3D model of the car's exterior. Now, LiDAR is able to capture more detail than traditional laser scanners, but it is also more expensive. Um, then, Polyphony Digital uses a LiDAR scanner called the Velodyne HDL64E. It is a high resolution LiDAR scanner that can capture up to 64 beams per second. So the LiDAR scanner is mounted on a robotic arm that can move around the car to capture all of its angles. And this scanner also, I mean this scanner, what, what it takes is then used to create a 3D model of the car in a software program co called Cloud Compare. The next point, dynamometers are used to measure the car weight 
aerodynamics and suspension. This data used to create the game physics engine, which allows the car to behave realistically in the video game. Polyphony Digital used a variety of dynamometers to measure the cars that have 4WD dynamometers or 2WD and a wind tunnel. The dynamometer data is used to calculate the car weight, aerodynamics, suspension. This data is then used to create the car physics models in the video game. That's very interesting. And so we've now seen all these scanners that they use in the movie, very, very high quality and high tech. But in addition to capturing the 3D geometry and textures of the car, Polyphony Digital also uses scanning technology to capture the car's sound. Now, this is done by placing microphones around the car and recording the sound of the engine, exhaust, and other components. The sound data is then used to create the car sound effects in the game. One of the most important parts of this game is the scanning technology used by Polyphony Digital. It's incredible accurate. I remember that the, at that time and the last um, release of, this, the, of the Gran Turismo is the realistic of this car. And it's hard to tell that the difference between them and real cars. This level of realistic is what has made Gran Turismo one of the most popular racing video game series of all time. Yeah, and, and that's true because in the movie, you have to remember, if you haven't watched it, but I'm sure you've watched it by I now. I don't want to make spoils. But it is based on a true story, so none of this could have been done and that this guy, Jan, couldn't have achieved this if it wasn't because of how accurate the video game was. And in the end, that worked for reality. And I mean, it's mind-blowing, but um, so that was a brief overview of the technology that Polyphony Digital uses to scan cars for, Gran Turismo, for the Gran Turismo video game. I we really hope you found this video informative. If you watch the movie and wonder, what, what's that? Is that even real? It is real. Now you have the names. Now you see how it works. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for us to make more videos like this of other topics as well. And stay tuned yeah. for more videos like this. We're back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.